Abiola. It's no secret that famous Nigerian singer Aziz Fashola, who is popularly known as Naira Mali, is the king of controversy. Songs such as Amaye Yahoo Boy, Mary Joanna, Is A Go, Why, and Sopi no doubt confirms him the title. He went from singing about illegal vices in his song to celebrating cyber crimes and breaking the law. Every year, it is expected that people, including celebrities, change for the better and do away with certain habits the society deems as unattractive. Well, it's been a different case with Naira Mali. It's mid-2020 already and the self-styled president of the Malians have dominated the headlines for all the wrong reasons. Just last week, the singer was the center of a crisis between the federal government and the management of a private airline. Alongside, he has been facing massive backlash from Nigerians and may soon be arrested by the police yet again. With all this information in mind, it seems like the singer cannot stay away from trouble. Without wasting any more time, let's look into four major times Naira Mali made the news for all the wrong reasons. Hello guys, it's Nolin here from African Glitz. <laughs> Internet fraud scandals. <laughs> After sharing his controversial view on internet fraud in March of 2019, Naira Mali made the headlines for all the wrong reasons for the first time. It all began from a post on his official Instagram page, where he defended internet fraudsters' activities and praised them for playing a crucial role in the circulation of money in the Nigerian economy. As expected, he received massive backlash from Nigerians and celebrities alike, including Rugged Man and Simi. And many went ahead to draw the attention of EFCC to his post, with others hauling profanities at him. Just months after making this post, he dropped his controversial song Am I a Yahoo Boy and later dropped the video for the song on May 9th. It was at this time the Economic and Financial Crime Commission EFCC swung into action. On May 10th, 2019, which coincidentally was his birthday, EFCC took to his residence in Ikataleki to arrest him alongside Zilatan and three other persons. And before we could finish saying Jack, Naira Mali was languishing in jail and will soon rearrange over 11 count charge, including internet fraud and money laundering. His arraignment no doubt dominated the news of his fans. The Malians swam the court premises to catch a glimpse of their president in handcuffs. He was soon granted bail and in no time sparked another controversy when he released Soapy just weeks after coming out of prison. Many Nigerians criticized the song for promoting the M-word, a habit he described was famous among inmates. Naira Mali took the trophy for being an internet sensation for six straight months that year. Alleged car theft Naira Mali once again dominated the news for all the wrong reasons in December of 2019. On December 15th precisely, the soapy singer broke the internet when he, alongside his brothers and cousin, were accused of stealing an iPhone and the Toyota Camry from a man at a co hotel roundabout in Lagos. Following the viral news, the singer took to social media to ridicule the theft claims while stating that he was wrongly accused because he doesn't brag about his expensive car has on social media. He further noted that the theft claims are just plans by his enemies to dent his name in a bid to prevent him from becoming the next president of Nigeria. However, his brothers and cousin were eventually taken to court on a four-count charge, including conspiracy, also an obstruction of the police to arrest the singer. The case was surprisingly thrown out of court following a settlement agreement between the complainant, Naira Mali, and his brother this. Lockdown party. 2020 was the year everyone expected Naira Mali to turn a new leaf, but he disappointed after he got involved in another controversy after being spotted at a birthday party organized by Funke Akindele and her hobby JJC Skills. The couple on April 5th, 2020, reportedly disobeyed the social distancing directives. Shockingly, Naira Mali was named among the people that disobeyed the law. In his defense, Funke 
Akindele and JJC skills explained that Naira Mali was part of the crew working on one of her movie projects and had been in the estate before the lockdown was announced. Her explanation came after Nigerians on social media clamored for them to be arrested and punished accordingly. Naira Mali was arraigned in a mobile court but quickly got off the hook after he wrote an apology letter and was pardoned by the Lagos state government. Following his release, the white singer took to social media to blast snitches that suggested his arrest. He demanded that none of them should ever ask him to fight the Nigerian government on their behalves. He also vowed he would not be doing any giveaway during this period. Sequel to this event and precisely last week, Zilatan Ibile, who is a well-known associate of Naira Mali, bragged Funke Akindele for advising him not to associate with Naira Mali to protect his brand. According to Zilatan, Funke Akindele claimed that whoever associates with Naira Mali would undoubtedly get in trouble. Was she right? Well, let's find out in Naira Mali's latest controversy. Baby girl, come and give me that. Them boy, they can do me nothing. Private Jet Saga On June 12, 2020, Naira Mali made the headline for the unputting time after videos of people dancing together in a driving concert headlined by Naira Mali emerged on social media. The concert was reportedly held at the Jabi Lake Mall Park in Abuja. Pictures of the singer disembarking a plane with ex-BB Ninja housemate Kim Oprah first surfaced on social media. Initially, Nigerians were wondering how Naira Mali found his way to Abuja from Lagos despite the interstate ban and strict restrictions on domestic flights. But the question will soon be answered when the Minister of Aviation, Hadi Sirika, suspended the private airline executive jet service which flew Naira Mali and Kim Opera to Abuja for the concert. According to the minister, the airline was granted permission to fly a judge and not a singer. Jabi Lake Mall Park has also been shot down indefinitely and the federal government promises that Naira Mali will face the full weight of the law. Well, this has resulted in an epic back and forth between the singer, Nigerians and the airline operator. In response to the aviation minister's verdict on the issue, the CEO of Executive Jet Services apologized for the airline's poor judgment while explaining that the jet was initially granted permission to fly a judge who cancelled his flight. However, he later approved the trip when the manifesto brought to him named Babatunde Fashola as a client going with the plane. Seeing the name, in his error he had assumed it was the Honorable Minister of Power and Works, Babatunde Fashola taking the flight, not knowing it was a bunch of useless people. <laughs> While the apology letter has been giving Nigerians a lot of laughs, Naira Mali has fired back as well. In a post on his Twitter page, he stated that nobody is useless. While confidently describing the airline company as arrogant, oppressive and silly. Naira Mali went further to claim that over 20,000 Malians travel with the airline every month. He also claimed that the pilot and crew of the flight are all Malians as well. Sarcastically, he expressed gratitude that the plane did not crash as it almost did during his trip. He quickly launched the hashtag, nobody is useless. His demand or notwithstanding, Naira Mali is known for his excellent business acumen. As in the past, he dropped his songs and made whatever controversy is trailing him at the time. After this latest incident, he announced that he will be releasing yet another single titled As He They Go, which of course is accompanied by a new dance style called Woogie. Without a doubt, the Is A Go singer has been able to make something good out of his unfortunate controversies and this today argue one of the few successful Nigerian artists that can brag about being popular and famous at the same time. Do you think Naira Mali will get away with the consequences of breaking the pandemic directives for the second time? Would you say he has the potential to turn a new leaf, especially when he benefits from the controversies? As always, share your thoughts with us on the comment section down below. Share if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If this is your first time watching one of our videos, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell sign to be notified every time we upload a new video so that you don't miss a thing. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one.